Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, May 10th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. This is episode 536 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Heroes starring Qin Junjie and Liu Yuning is announced on Weibo. Yang Zi and Qin Junjie release statements to refute reconciliation rumors. Yang Mi's quote about sense of security is mocked by a netizen. And livestream workout sensation Will Liu tags Kerry Wang in a post and Kerry responds. But first, here's what's recently premiered, three dramas for today and yesterday. There's Lady of Law starring Maggie Jiang and Liu Mingtao. The modern legal drama premiered yesterday, May 9th. According to Baidu, Maggie Jiang is a new hire at a law firm and is assigned to a bribery case involving one of the firm's partners. Liu Mingtao is this partner's daughter. She also works at the firm and has been secretly investigating her father's case. Lady of Law is slated for 40 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Then there's The Fight, a modern crime drama starring Oh Hao and Wang Jingchun. It premiered earlier today. Baidu explains it as a drama that follows a couple of crime investigators, played by Oh Hao and Wang Jingchun, who fight to eradicate evil forces entrenched in Luoyuan County, which is on the northeast coast of Fujian Province. The fight is slated for 24 episodes and is available on IQ.com, no English subs at the moment. And lastly, there's Hello My Girl, a modern youth drama starring Huang Chanchan and Ao Ziyi. It premiered earlier today as well. Douban explains it as a romance which develops between a guy from Shanghai and a girl from the Northeast. He's having a hard time adapting to his new environment in the Northeast. She being a local helps him adjust. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs, but they're auto-translated. And that's it for recently premiered dramas. Moving on, rap updates, and we begin with Love You 7 Times. Yesterday, Love You 7 Times announced their rap and shared a new batch of production stills. This is Sina Entertainment's coverage of it. According to Baidu, in the drama, Xiao Xiangzi, played by Yang Chaoyue, is a cloud who's transformed into a fairy. Chu Kong, played by Ryan Ding, is an immortal. He and Xiao Xiangzi get into an argument which leads to chaos in the heavenly realm. Both of them are punished to go through seven lifetimes of love and calamity before they're allowed back into the heavenly realm. Here they are sharing a moment on what looks like their wedding night. Also announcing their rap is The Eve, a Republican-era drama starring Oh Hao and Zhang Huiwen. The drama follows a group of youngsters who are dragged into espionage activities during a period of social unrest. Here is Oh Hao as Ling Xi, a gang member. And here is Zhang Huiwen as Sunan, a progressive student. And that's it for drama raps. Next up, drama bootings, and we begin with Ladies Character. Starring Wan Qian and Bai Ke, Lady's Character is a modern drama and they announced their booting ceremony on May 8th. According to Baidu, the drama follows a workplace professional, played by Wan Qian, who discovers she's pregnant. Her pregnancy brings her family closer together, but also has an adverse effect on her career. Another drama that recently announced their booting ceremony is Nothing But Love, starring Liu Wu and Zhou Yutong. I'd mentioned in previous episodes speculation of this drama starting up, but the official booting announcement only came on May 7th. The production company has described the drama as a story of professional growth and a romance which develops between a club manager and an athlete. And that's it for drama bootings. Lastly, for drama updates, Heroes recently announced themselves and released their first batch of posters. Starring Qin Junjie and Liu Yuning, Heroes made the announcement yesterday. By the way, this is Heroes Tian Xing Jian, not to be confused with Heroes Shuo Ying Xiong Shei Shei Ying Xiong, which is another costume drama which also features Liu Yuning in the cast. 
That one stars Joseph Chung and Yang Chaoyue and could be premiering soon as it obtained its online record number in March. As for Heroes Tian Xing Jian, so far there's still no synopsis for it, but here is Qin Junjie as Men San Dao. From his Q hairstyle, it looks like the drama is set in the Qing dynasty. Here's Liu Yining as Zhuo Bufan. Both characters look like they're fighters. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and we begin with Qin Junjie and Yang Zi. This story was covered by many entertainment outlets. Here's Hua's coverage title, Reconciled. Yang Zi revealed to have a low-key dinner with her ex, Qin Junjie. Both sides quickly refute rumors, saying they are fabricated out of nothing. According to the article, Yang Zi and Qin Junjie made their relationship public in 2017. The following August, they announced that they had peacefully broken up. The two stars have starred in dramas together before in the past, including 2017's Legend of the Dragon Pearl. Here they are on the set of 2016's Noble Aspirations. On May 8th, some media photographers snapped pictures of the two stars going in and out of the same restaurant in Hengdian. According to media reports, Qing Junjie, who's pictured here dressed in black, entered the restaurant first. Not long after, Yang Zi followed suit with her assistant. A couple of hours later, they left, also one after another. As you can imagine, this sparked social media discussions. The media reached out to both parties for a statement, and both denied any sort of reconciliation rumors. Yang Zi's side said, Fabricated out of nothing, it was just a dinner among friends and others. Qing Junjie's side said, Fake news, rumors. Qing Junjie also personally took to Weibo to say, The paparazzi were not hired by me. You can scold me, but don't scold others. Also, what you photographed is pure nonsense. That statement was in response to people saying that the pictures were deliberately put out there to drum up publicity because his latest drama was just announced, Heroes, as I mentioned earlier. Qin Junjie also released a lawyer statement through his studio. Part of the statement said that certain individuals repeatedly took pictures of Qin Junjie and maliciously spread rumors which violated his privacy and reputation. So as far as I know, taking pictures of celebrities, or anyone for that matter, in public, is legal. According to Law.Photography, who published this piece about street photography laws in China, you can shoot photos of individuals in public without consent. And you can publish photos of individuals, even if recognizable, without consent. Now in Yang Zi and Qing Junjie's case, if the paparazzi photographers had taken the pictures inside the restaurant, that would be a different story, because a restaurant is a private establishment. Also, publishing the pictures might be okay, but if they attached a story to it, for example, the reconciliation story, then that might not be okay either. Alright, moving on. But before we get to the next segment, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now, whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. Next up, an update on Yang Mi. Been a while since we've done one. Sena Entertainment recently quoted her as saying, When in a relationship, sense of security comes from oneself. Yang Mi recently appeared on an episode of Mao Xue Wang, a variety TV show. They were talking about relationships when she was asked, In a relationship, where does the sense of security come from? Yang Mi replied, It comes from oneself. She then added, If he is good to me because I have money, I would be very happy because I have money. A bit of a curious one, that second quote, netizens who read the Sina article chimed in. The top comment was, I used to think, 
huh? But now I just hate myself for not having that ability. I'm assuming by ability she means having money. The second comment was someone in the know. And the last comment was, when it comes to love and marriage, Yang Mi is a classic case of what not to do. Her quotes aside, Yang Mi has the drama She and Her Perfect Husband with Xu Kai coming up. The drama obtained its distribution license in December last year and is rumored to premiere soon. And lastly, for celebrity updates, an interaction between two celebs who've been trending in China lately. The first is Kerry Wang. The 22-year-old singer-actor is in the recently premiered drama Be Reborn, which is doing well on viewing charts. And the other is Will Liu, Liu Kenghong. The 49-year-old Taiwanese singer has been trending for his popular workout videos. His live streams that often also feature his wife have been a hit with viewers and he's gained tens of millions of followers on Douyin in the past month. On May 7th, Will shared this picture of him and his wife watching Be Reborn. The message was, quote, Done with aerobics, put the kids to sleep, now we're following a drama. Do you know what we're watching? TF Boys Kerry Wang, please read. Don't forget to exercise while filming, close quote. Well, Kerry Wang presumably did read it. He reshared the post on the same day and said, Thank you, brother. Today, I am that luckiest Liu Kenghong boy. Sounds like they're both fans of each other. Funny story, in April, Will was banned from Douyin when his nipples, which were clearly visible through his tight t-shirt, were mistaken by the platform for female breasts. He and his wife then played it off comically by putting on down jackets on their next live stream after they were reinstated. On that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark is At? So the title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following three dramas. I'm on episode 17 of Who Rules the World starring Yang Yang and Zhao Lu Si. I'm following it on Wee TV. I'm on episode 7 of The Wind Blows from Longxi starring Chen Kun and Bai Yu, following it on YouTube. And I just started Master of My Own, starring Kenny Lin and Seven Tan. I'm on episode 3 of that and following it on YouTube as well. Of the three, I'd have to say I'm most hooked on the wind blows from Longxi. I'm quite keen on going on a binge of it as soon as I can find the time. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark is At. It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.